Sansri, um, we've got a question from the audience, and I think yeah. we'd like to take it if you would like to answer sure, this. Sure, please. As uh, as Minali is yes, our current uh, mini uh, meeting minister, so what do you think of, of what do you think of him and um, and the policies and, and the decisions taken? Oh well, I, see, I don't want to pinpoint who makes decisions, but I would say the government better lah. I've already indicated to his staff, to his officers who happen to be my officers before. Stop this essential, non-essential categorization. And we are now looking at export industries as well. Treat them separately because they have to compete in the global market, right? They have contracts to produce something within a certain time frame. But you tell them, cannot, you close. When in fact, they don't have that many workers because they're all automated and they don't mind vaccinating all their workers but not to talk but they are export oriented and they are being i know because they complain to me they are being uh, being uh, 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 threatened with uh, cancellation of the contract if you cannot deliver as you have mentioned we will source it from somewhere else and do you know how many other countries are sourcing can be sourced from our neighbors steel structures and all that all this automated, you know, and, and this idea of a 60% workers. Why do you get this idea 60%? Come on. If you test your workers, 100% are all vaccinated. Why limit to 60%, right? Yeah, yeah. See, this is what I mean. I don't know whose idea it is, but I always say government. Go men. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm very cynical because to me, it's common sense, right? If you mandate every factory, every business entity to have their staff tested and vaccinated, then all the staff yang dah vaccinated tu boleh kerja. Why limit to 60? Huh? During lockdown, you paksa lah dia vaccinate, they're willing to. And then now you have the rapid test. In Singapore, they give you rapid test kit free, you know, to every citizen, every family, right? We don't need even to do that. We give it to those people who are generating the economy moving the economy you know generate the economy which is industries I don't, I'm not talking about the billion dollar industries they can afford I'm talking about the SMEs 100,000 already closed down another 50,000 to be closed down by October this is according to the SME Association not my words 150,000 by October you multiply lah berapa pekerja there's a, there's a statistic I, I read up that about 7 million people retrenched totally. That's a huge amount. Of course. Anything that goes into millions is already frightening. Lah. Right? Among the SMEs alone, 150,000 SMEs. You multiply by how many workers, right? 10 workers already 1.5 million. Some are bigger. They are millions of ten over, ten million ten over, you know. They're, they're not twenty workers, they're hundred workers, they're still medium by our categorization. So they could probably hundred workers. So how can you stop them from uh, uh, from making forty workers work? If these workers are staying in dormitory, who ca who's caring for them? They are the ones who are infecting each other, right? If they come to work, you can test, you can vaccinate. Selamat. But you say no no no, sixty come, you forty jangan datang. Who's taking care of them? And then you cut the salary. Because tak kerja. Merayau lah dia. They move around. They infect people. They look for odd jobs. You see how the, sometimes the government make these rulings without thinking in depth. I have to say this, frankly. You open without having this stupid essential, not essential, and how many workers. You know, hairdressing salon. If you have 10 chairs there, why do you want to restrict only 60%? Four chairs cannot. Eh? Why? If you can space them out nicely, yeah, SOP, fine. But you test your workers. Look. Correct. You're not sitting each other shoulder to shoulder. You can arrange it such that while I'm curling your hair, you don't need to be seated next to the guy who is being, uh, you know, hair color, something like that, right? Yes, that's